And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Intrasil C4. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. Hey. But you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this regimen for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter.
Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. We can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. My frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornia of chance. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Uh, very well. never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm <laughs> took precedence. Wait. Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, <laughs> that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those tiny rocks? <laughs> Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to <laughs> Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Oh! I didn't know it could do that. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. They're the ones who bring the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Hey, Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. 
So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. <laughs> Beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father... Unfortunately I... for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. <laughs> Some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your eyes. <laughs> That's useful. Above the door, there's a light crystal. It's the light! I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Temple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down the water. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus the light elves were born. Maybe a different angle? Maybe a wider angle, Kratos. That should do it.
Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> On your right! <laughs> Cross on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architect. This way, trying to wait. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with them? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of the temple. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, four. More light elves ahead. I'll have Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Watch your leg. Oh! Father, watch the oar! Oh! <laughs> 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 
At least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <clears throat> Sure made a lot of these light doors. Huh. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. There's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Nasty hit! You're all right, brother! Meet you on the other side. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. This mystic doesn't see us. There's Twilight Stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. Continue up this way. Father, over here. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. He's in the light now, too. Ah, I see. The timing must be precise. Ugh! 
They call. Do what you must. Fly to her! Incoming! No! Nicely done. how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh! The crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. Feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. on these frustrating trials. You would know better than us, Bubba. I can't remember the last time I visited the <laughs> nor do I wish to try. And here we go.
Last one. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war stopped him long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, suppose we're all entitled to walk on our path, regardless of where they end. Must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. Stuck on the wing. to defend ourselves but when he died he told us we helped the wrong side i see <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. do you still hear something wounded out there i think so it could just be the storm perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy there the central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. What's 
trough. I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. My father went inside the light. He said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... 